everyone, my name is Tom Sloan. I'm a lieutenant with the Round Rock Police Department Criminal Investigations Division. Another role that I have is I am the acting SWAT commander for the Round Rock Police Department SWAT team. Today, shortly before 12 o'clock noon, Round Rock Police Department received a call from family members of an adult male who resided in the 2300 block of Vernell Way that this male was suicidal. As a result, patrol and the SWAT team responded. On the initial approach to the house and the response by the patrol officers, they located what they believed to be potential explosive devices. It appeared that the suicidal individual had possibly rigged his house with explosive devices. As a result, a several hour investigation started and resulted with what I would like to remind everyone with the most positive outcome we could have, and that is the male, while going through a crisis, is in critical condition, but he has been transported to an area hospital. That is the hallmark of a community that supports its police department, equips its SWAT team very well, and allows for the SWAT team to be highly trained. A SWAT robot was used to enter the residence. During the entry and look around, we located the male, unresponsive, but yet breathing. There was no trauma seen. Once we determined it was safe for officers to enter and no serious devices would jeopardize the officer's entry, the male was promptly removed from the house, given to Williamson County EMS and transported to an area hospital. There was located what we believe right now to be a potential explosive device. And because of that and the traffic that you see behind me, the roadways will continue to be closed and the residences will continue to remain evacuated. I would direct everybody to go to Round Rock Police Department's social media page for any updates. As soon as we open the roadway, we're gonna make sure that our folks can return home or go where they need to go. I think it's important to, to mention the assistance we received from the Allen R. Baca Center because we did have to evacuate several residences because of the potential uh, explosive devices. They received these individuals with welcoming arms. I'd like to thank the other agencies that assisted Round Rock Police Department today. I'll start with Round Rock Fire Department, Williamson County EMS, the FBI, the ATF, Austin Police Department Bomb Squad, Central Texas Regional SWAT, Leander Police Department, and the Williamson County Sheriff's Office. Does anybody have any questions that I can answer? I don't, sure. Um, there was no trauma seen. However, he was unresponsive. And so he was taken to the area hospital. So continued life-saving measures can be given. I, I think it's important to, to, to say again that the best possible outcome today was he was found still alive and transported. And for Round Rock Police Department and the community, our hearts go out to the family of this man who was experiencing emotional trauma today. And as a reminder, the National Suicide Hotline is always available if you dial 988. There is help and assistance available for anybody who is going through emotional distress. Yes, so APD Bomb Squad and the ATF were very helpful. Once we rendered the scene somewhat safe, we sent the experts in to locate and remove the explosive devices. They appear currently to be real. However, the investigation is ongoing and will continue. Our response would have been the same, but you make a good point. Uh, we're very fortunate. Um, luck was on our side. We also make our own luck with our training and the way that we respond to these incidences. And our officers responded the way they're trained, uh, taking into account first and foremost, the safety of all the surrounding community uh, around this specific home. And yes, shutting down a major roadway would have issue with schools, parents wanting to come and pick up their children or, or bus routes. It would have been 
uh, it's still very serious. I, I'm not saying it wouldn't have been more serious. There would have been more obstacles and challenges we would have had to have faced, but I'm confident with the assistance from area departments and other uh, departments within the city of Round Rock, like transportation and general services, we would have been able to handle that if we were having to deal with it. Our, 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 so we all receive crisis intervention training. All officers are trained in mental health. We also have crisis negotiators and they are always on scene when the SWAT is deployed to an area so that we can establish communication. That was attempted, but because he was unresponsive, there was no communication. We even attempted to communicate through the robot. Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I would I would estimate without having a timeline in front of me um, within 45 minutes of the initial uh, response of us and we determined that it that was the key element in order to make entry safely into that home. Uh, regarding that I just want to highlight that it was important that he got the help that he needed and hopefully will get the help that he needed for, for his crisis. Uh, as far as calls for service in the past, I do not have that information. In terms, in terms of hours, how long did it take y'all to resolve the situation? It's still ongoing. So what is it, 6.30 now? Uh, the key point is we, 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 we divide this up and conquer different elements at, at a time. One, the safety of the community. Two, the safety of him and the officers. Three, the removal of the gentleman from the house and gets transported to the hospital. Three, making sure that the scene is now safe so that the community can return to their home. And we're not quite there yet, but I think we're really close. Can you, anything else you can say about the subject about uh, approximate age or race? Uh, it, it, was, uh, it was a black male um, in his mid to late 30s. That's going to be a continued investigation. It was what would appear to be, to anybody, an explosive device. I'll take one more question and then we'll wrap this up. Just to reiterate, when you say there was no apparent trauma, you're talking about like no apparent gunshot wounds, no apparent stab wounds, like that. that is, the question was, when I say there was no apparent trauma, um, what that means is it wasn't obvious uh, trauma from a gunshot or a stab or from some something that he was struck with. Physically, bodily. Harm. Correct. Physical, bodily. Physical, physically, bodily harm. It was not apparent. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you.